Hey, so uh, I've been doing a whole bunch of nerfs uh, using a drone over the last week, and I've noticed a few things and found some stuff out that I thought I'd share. Um, yeah, there's been a competition at uh, NVIDIA to win a, a, 30, a 3090, so um, yeah, I've been doing a bunch of nerfs f for, for that reason, and just discovered all these other submissions on Twitter. Uh, there's a link in the description, and it's worthwhile going in to go and check it out because there's some really amazing things in there and it's really opened my eyes as to other use cases for for nerf basically um i still hope you'd be able to export things in better quality but uh in the future but we'll, we'll see how that goes so here you can see how it's trained for 10 seconds and you, you know you can already get an idea of what the scene looks like um i've got it on a 4k monitor at the moment so it's it's a little bit slower um, if you disable rendering, it goes a bit quicker. But um, yeah, DLSS makes quite a big difference when you're rendering it out on uh, on video. Um, here, here it is at five percent. Um, it just smooths everything out, gets rid of artifacts. Here it is at uh, hundred percent. Uh, once the training's completed and DLSS enabled, it, it's it looks pretty decent. Um, I've been, you know, I've been thinking that this could be used for things like background plates. You know, like with the Disney, you know, the Disney cam with the overlapping backgrounds. Uh, you, you could use it for something like that if you wanted to capture some some interesting data, like a forest. Or you know, this is fantastic for for capturing fo foliage. Um, you've got depth of field uh, as well, which just helps to improve the the um, uh, the realism of the of the of the video. I think anyway. It also helps if you add a bit of vignetting around the around the edges to sort of hide the artifacts that tend to come out with the uh, with nerf. The other cool thing you can do is uh, like a dolly cam effect with the field of view. Um, that could be useful for someone, I, I suppose. You, you could create some interesting. Well, you could create a dolly cam effect with it. Um, you can also save your um, your snapshot so that you don't have to do all the training all over again. You can just load it up again, which I'll show in a minute with some of the code. So to add cameras, you just click on the camera path section and add a camera. And you can see you can drag it around. You've got your XYZ transforms like you do in any DCC app. Um, then you can move your camera and then add from cam to add another camera from where you were from your viewpoint. And then you can drag that one around and you can use the top slider to go from zero to one which basically in, in, interpolates between the f first camera and the last camera. So zero is first, one is the last, and it just takes you all the way there. The next slider is automatically pl automatically plays um, the camera path, so you can get an idea of how fast you want you want to um, push your um, camera through, or how how, fa how many seconds you want to render out your scene in better way of explaining it <laughs> um, yeah and you can you can rotate um, transform rotate and you can save your your base underscore cam dot JSON which is what you need if to do the rendering to save the video which I'll show in a sec you also got your field of view and your depth of field um, I don't use the slice or, or the scale but you, you can play around with those to see what they do so once you've saved your base.msg pack and your base underscore cam, then you can render out a video. So to get your video made in the first place, you have to do call map to nerf pi, give it a video, ignore that one, give it a video, frames per second, and run call map. Then to check it's working, you can do um, the run.py there, that you can see, and then to Again, load up the scene, but with a snapshot, you do dash dash load underscore snapshot with your base MSG pack as the path, file path. So you have to do your rendering. And then to save, you do scripts run.py, give it a scene that you've already created, um, load in a snapshot, uh, which is base.msg pack, and then give it the camera path, which is base underscore cam.json, video in seconds. Um, video frames per second, 
I'll move that over a frames per second, video output name, and then dash dash height and dash dash width for your height and your width of your video. And then it'll output it to your instant dash ngp file. That's where you ran your script from. And that's how you export video from Nerf um, to get the sort of quality that you get in the Twitter uh, link, which again is in the description. But yeah, I just thought it's worthwhile doing another quick video because there's um, there's definitely some use cases for it even now. I think um, hopefully we'll get some more export options in the future for for things like volumes and um, th 3D files as well. Hopefully, but um, yeah, that's it. I hope that was useful. Cheers.